dealers, man, Hot right, Davis, and I'm rocking my dog Serato. You see me just did come to That's a shoot shoe right there. He, look, he ain't come to disappoint you. I'm in disbelief right now. I'm wearing the hot shoe, man. You man, you should win this. Yo, what's good, people? It's your boy Serato back at you again with another banger. And this time we're doing something completely different, okay? I've never done anything like this before. Um, I actually seen somebody else do this in a video and I was like, damn, I should try that because I need like a solution like real quick, right? Because I got this game I got to play in. It's a celebrity game and I need some heat. So I was like, damn, I should get my fear of gods and just, you know, sauce them up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like they kind of, you know, they hot, but they not that hot like this. You know what I'm saying? Like we could do better. So I was like, shit, I need some tie dye type shit. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like tie dye, like Astro World type shit. So that's what I'm finna do. All right, so boom. Went to Walmart, boom. Grabbed mad Sharpies, rubbing alcohol. And I got me this bottle. Now I'm not using the paint in here. Obviously this is empty. I washed it out with some uh, alcohol already to make sure it was clean. I'm not gonna get no residue. And uh, this is it. That's all I really need for real. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get to it. Okay, so these are the Air Fear of God Sail Black Ones. These Fear of Gods come with a sail upper, black Nike swoosh, sail midsole, and a translucent sole. These sneakers were released in June 2019 and retail for $350, but resell for about four dollars $450-ish. Right, so I got all these all opened up. I actually went and grabbed these two. I forgot I had this case out in the back from when I used to do Vans and Converses and stuff when I first started. So I actually have all these shits that have been sitting here for years that I've never used. So I'm finna use as much of this as possible. I've never done this before. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Um, so for real, for real, if I do it and it's trash, I'm just gonna paint over it and that'll be part of the video. So we'll see what it actually ends up looking like. Now, because I've wore these a couple times out the box, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the sides here. I'm gonna acetone that up, uh, strip them off and then tape off the bottoms and the parts that I don't wanna get a uh, Sharpie on. And then we can get to actually adding this stuff on here. So we're good to go. I got everything taped up that I kind of don't want to get any kind of smears or drips or cover on. Um, I'm hoping this is going to hold. I really don't know. I might end up having to black out some of this stuff or acetone it off or whatever. But uh, hopefully this will work and uh, we're good to go. So time to go ahead and grab the markers and start filling out our uh, tie dye pattern up in here. And then we're going to do some Astral World stuff on the toe box here. Maybe black this part out. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. So I started off by trying to just lay down this kind of classic tie-dye swirl pattern. I kind of tried to go from light colors, you know, with a yellow to just kind of transitional colors around it to whatever would blend hopefully smoothly together. I'm um, trying to get darker and going outward. So um, you start thin and then you just try to get as wide as possible to the top points and then just try to kind of mesh it together some kind of way. But it's all kind of random. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Uh, so I'm just doing random stuff here, trying to add some... Uh, line work through it you know makes the colors kind of mix each other a little bit better and then i'm going to go back and do layers as i add the alcohol to it when i'm blending later all right now we get pretty much good to go i think i ruined the markers here but uh you know whatever we only need them for this and then uh, i got the other side done too i like to leave a little bit of white sections here just so you know add a little bit different to the blade you know to the blend or whatever and then i'm going to do my second layer after i let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes maybe um, some of it I'm actually gonna go straight over top you know I wouldn't recommend that if you want to save your markers but I really don't care so I'm gonna go back over you know speed this process up a little bit smooth out these blends here try to finish this front part out and then we're gonna move to the actual paint part
just to explain, I'm using the Q-tip by dunking it into the alcohol I have in the cup here and then using it to forcibly rub the colors together and mix them together. Um, more alcohol means a better mix, but just make sure you watch on your tape because you will have runs and it might mess it up if you don't plan on paying that over. All right, now I got pretty much all of this kind of taken care of here. I'm just gonna go back in one more time. I don't think I need, you know, eight, seven, nine, ten layers like they were talking about in these videos I was watching. So I think I only need like one or two and then I'm good to go. Um, so I'm gonna go back in, just touch up, smooth out some of these, uh, you know, some of this stuff in here, maybe try to get those blends a little bit nicer and uh, that's about it. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the toe box here. I'm gonna find me some Travis Scott logos, you know, primarily Astro World kind of stuff. You know, Travis Scott in general. So like Travis Scott theme. See how that turns out. Yeah! Alright, so I got all my stencils cut out using my Silhouette Cameo uh, and my MacBook. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place them over all the sections I'm going to try to black out here. And then I'm going to go ahead and mask off everything that I need to not get black paint on while I airbrush this. Um, shouldn't be too hard. And then I'm just going to do the trim and uh, take all this tape off. So now I'm done with that part. I got everything on, uh, finish applied, um, cleaned up everything on the sides here. But I'm looking at it and I just I just don't like that there. I just kind of want to black the whole front toe gap up. And I think I'm gonna move the logos to the side and I think I'm gonna eliminate this one and just do the same one on both sides and just keep it equal. Um, so I'm gonna do that part and then I need to do the actual top logos too. And then uh, find somewhere to put Serato at and I'm gonna do go. All right, now we're pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put some laces in these bad boys and uh, take them to the event and uh, show you guys some on foot action for the first time because these are mine. I'm not selling them to nobody. What a bummer. But I did manage to get some on foot for y'all still. Even Mr. Fear got himself, Jerry Lorenzo, had to drop in the comments and let me know these was dope. So make sure y'all like and subscribe and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys on the next vid.